Hello! In this video, I'm going to take a fast API function and deploy it using the Azure Developer CLI up to Azure Functions with an API management policy in front. And the way I have it set up, the API management policy is going to mean that we can visit the docs URL publicly, but then we'll need a subscription key in order to actually make a successful API call. So let's see how it works. Here I am inside GitHub code spaces for the project. So I type azd up. First thing it does is ask me for an environment name. This will be the prefix to all the resources created. Then it asks me to select a subscription and this is my internal account. So I have to go through this long list. Then it selects asks the location and I go for somewhere in the US like East US too. And now it's actually going to check the infra templates and make sure they all look good, that they're all valid. It knows what to provision. And then it can start provisioning. And this part does take quite a bit of time. So I did speed it up here. This is where it's actually creating these services that they don't yet exist. So first it makes a resource group to group everything together. And then inside that resource group, it makes all the other things like the app service plan, the function app, the storage account, the application insights, uh, the API management policy, the log analytics workspace, all of these things associated with running this application. So now it's done, it can actually deploy the code now. So it's bundling that up and pushing it up to the Azure servers. This also takes time, so I sped this up too. Okay, and it's done. We see an endpoint gets displayed. This is the endpoint of the function app. Now for this example here, I've set it up so the function app has an off level of function, which means you actually have to have a function key in your headers to be able to visit it. So if we go to this URL, we get an HTTP 401. That's completely expected. What we need to go to instead is the API management URL, because that's what I've set up so that public, you know, users can use. That's our, my wrapper of the function. So I go to the portal overview page, I find the API management service, click on that. Now this loads and I can see in the upper right, the gateway URL. So I click on that. And this at the root, it's not going to give us anything great. We need to go to the documentation, which I've set up so that anybody can view the documentation without any sort of key. Because I, I like that you could set it up to need a key, but I want it to be publicly viewable. Now I see it needs a subscription key. If I execute without a subscription key, because of my API policies, it says, sorry, access is denied. So this is something I set up as an API policy. You don't have to require subscription keys. I just thought it was neat. So now I need to actually make a subscription and get that key. So I'm going to make a new subscription. And here we go. So I can find out the key for that by saying show high keys, copy that to my clipboard, go back to the API docs, paste that in, execute. And this time when it executes, we do get a response. So it accepted that key. We can also see the URL, the full URL that we would use to get to that, put that in the browser. It all works because the subscription key is in that URL. So there we go.